Grace Missionary Church. So can you see God can do that? So God can really open the eyes of a man. This is the man that God wants to use you people of Namibia. This is the man that God is raising now. Uh, you can hear this man prophesy this one now. He, he's prophesying now. He's prophesying now. Come on, demon! Come on! Leave his mind! Leave this mind! Huh? What are you doing to the mind? I can't hear you. Huh? If you open it, you will see great things. You will see great things? Yes. If you open it, you will see great things? Yes. So you broke the mind? Yes. What did you use to block the mind? I came through the television. Huh? I came through the television. Which television? You always watch television? Yes. Uh, so, you use television? Yes. So what was he watching, Hector? He was watching soccer. Soccer? Yes. So it's soccer that is causing problem? Yes. Ah, did you hear that? So you enter through soccer? Yes. And then you were doing what to his mind? I was closing it. You're closing it. you know. Huh? If you open his mind, this man will go very far. He'll go very far? Yes, he has called for very big, big things. He will change Namibia. He will change, change Katima. He will change Katima? Yes, God called him to minister to the Sadek nations. Oh. This is a great prophet. You know Makananisa. God wants to use him the same way he's using you. And T.B. Joshua. Now, what are you doing to this man? Leave him. I want... I don't want him to rise. Makadanisa, you see, even now God is touching his wife. Now I can't stop this man. Everything now is open. Look at the finances coming to this man. Look at how his ministry is going forward. Just look now, Makadanisa. Why are you doing this? So you are telling people who are called? Yes. Who are you? You are telling people who are called? Who are you? I'm the one sent to kill anointing. You are, you are sent to kill a native? Yes. You don't have a name? I am a giant spirit. Giant spirit? Yes. From where? I come from the Lozi tribe. Which side? From Lozi. Lozi? Yes. Uh. This man was sent to come and destroy me. I am the last one standing. And now Makananisa, if now you defeat me, this man will be unstoppable. Many people will come to him. Many people. He will take cities. He will take nations. Makananisa. He carries the same anointing what you are carrying. Many people will be out by this man. You say you are the last man standing. Yes. So others are defeated. Yes. He defeated all of them. All my generals, this man has destroyed. Look at what he's doing in his church. People doors are opening for them. They are having great testimonies. I want to stop this man before he goes far. But now I know my time is up. Makaranisa, I don't like you. You don't like me? Yes. <laughs> we have your things. <laughs> Come on! Remove! Remove! What's going on? What's that? Yeah? Look at it! What's going on? Remove your thing! Remove! Remove all! Remove! Remove from this eye! Make one! Jeez! Jesus, my uh, children. You are free, sir. Are you seeing me? Yes, of course. Eh? What are you seeing on that man who's moving there? It's an apostle called the Lord. 
You see him as an apostle? Yes. Let's bring another one. Brother, come. This man is prophesying now. He's prophesying now. He's a prophet. Stand here. Stand here. What are you seeing on this one? Look here. Look here. Be confident. God wants to use you. What are you seeing? In the church where you are, yeah. I see you very much with music. Let, let's hear, can you confirm that? Because I was in the worship team. Huh? I was in the worship team. You were in the worship team? Yes. Uh -huh. And then, okay? I begin to see. You are seeing? That the anointing of the Lord came and rest upon you and told you what you are doing in this life. Uh, yes. let's, let's hear the confirmation. I left the worship team because I had to <coughs> start uh, preaching and then I left and then I'm sitting now and yeah. that's what I'm doing. That's what you're doing, you sit down? I sit down and then when, when the preacher is not available, I preach and I sit. You don't know this man? No, we only met yesterday. You never talked? <coughs> Nobody. Hey, let's hear, brother, what more can you tell him? When you leave all businesses, Everything you must connect, disconnect completely. I see finances God Himself is sending to start your ministry. Listen here, this man is shocked now. You're shocked. No, I'm shocked. You're shocked. Yeah. Why? Why? Because explain. Um I I, I visited the apostle last year. Yes. And um in our meeting, uh, he advised I should, I, because of ministry, I should leave everything and then everything will go. I was, I was studying, I was doing a PhD, I was working, I was doing businesses, and then I left all those things immediately. And then um, my wife started getting promotions. I think she's been promoted three times now since I came the last time. So financially, after me dropping everything for ministry, God started raising my this wife. This is what this man is saying. This is what he's saying and he was not there. He doesn't even know about it. He doesn't even know that. Oh, we give glory to Jesus. We give glory to Jesus. It is possible. It is possible. Okay, my name is Patu and my son name is Ramadingana. I'm from Pretoria West. I have experienced an enormous prophetic encounter and prophetic anointing today where uh, the Apostle, Apostle Makananisa prayed for a man of God, Roger, from Namibia and immediately uh, he started singing the Spirit and he started prophesying, which I'm one of the people he started prophesying to. And he told me things which happened um, three, four years back and um, gradually things were happening throughout the years until things that are happening today and he told me why these things have been happening so he even went to the future of all these things it, it was amazing because i've never met him before we've never talked and we've never um either called each other or had any personal contact of some sort so it was quite challenging and 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 and, and amazing just to think one person can be prayed for now and immediately he sees all these things, um, a, a network of, uh, or a chain of events happening in one's life. It's, it's, it's amazing. Wow, I feel like I'm in the right place <laughs> at the right time because um, I, ha I, I, I needed these confirmations as well. Um, because you know sometimes in life um, life gets you through things and challenges and you just need a man of God who can really hold your hand and get you out of certain situations and I'm very happy to be here to know that um, I have that man of God I would say this is really challenging to us as youngsters who are rising um i think many people are coming into the prophetic without uh, a good good intentions and um, they are now abusing the prophetic ministry 
and it's a challenge to us because now the world is seeing these things happening and now they don't believe in us because instead of growing together we are now fighting amongst each other but the good thing is that the anointing of the prophetic still stays in the house of of charis the apostle makaranis is still ready after all these challenges losing sons losing uh, 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 his trustees he's still willing to groom more people he's not tired he's not giving up i think it, 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 it's, it's a challenge to us that we need to pray for him more so that he can have more strength and groom more people and raise more young prophets amen we give glory to the lord we are here and uh, this man can see now uh, god wants to use this man and we are hearing the demon that was holding this man as he left. The demon who called himself the last standing man has left. I, I have to bring another one. Uh, you, you, you prophesy. Let me bring. Um, you say that man is an apostle. Brother, come. Um, yes, um, you are you're prophesying my visitors now. Come here. I want to find out why you say this man is an apostle. Brother, do you know him? I don't know him. You've never met him? I met him, but I don't know. We never spoke together about anything? We spoke, but not this kind of a matter. Not what he's saying now? Not what he's saying. Uh, so what do you say? Let's hear, let's confirm this. What do you say uh, God is showing him as an apostle? Yes. God showed me that in the spirit you are called an apostle because when I looked at you I saw Apostle Paul God took you to people that you don't know and when you started the church everyone around started to fear your ministry there were even pastors that raised up and started to fight you because I saw a closed door and there were pastors behind and they were starting to speak against your ministry Stop there. I think you're talking too much. Let's hear, uh, brother. Is it true what you say? It is true, just because even an angel came to me. An angel. The angel came. To an you. angel came to me a few years ago, early in the morning after six. I was praying. I used to pray six, to six uh, from from two in the in the early in the morning two to eight o'clock early in the morning yes. for about six months praying and fasting. At after six, the last day of my prayers, an angel appeared to me. And they said unto me, you will travel to 110 countries, but be careful to, to start where you're supposed to finish, and to finish where you're supposed to start. My God, it's an apostolic ministry that this man is confirming now on you. Uh, does he know you? That uh, you will travel, go will send you. Oh, it's shocking. Uh, uh, let me call other people. Can you come here, you people? Uh, also, my son, come here. You people also come. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing you and you're, you're on fire. It's too much. Yeah? I know you're on fire. You see what? You see he's on shock, this man. You see you're on shock. I'm hearing you say you're on shock. You're shocked. Yes. Yeah. Just because this is what the angel said to me. That's what the angel said to you? He said to me. He was not there. He was not there, this man. Yes. Let's call other people there. My visitors come with your people. Yes, I'm Thomas Salani from uh, Castel uh, Free State. So the prophecy that uh, one of the visitors here uh, gave unto me, it is true that uh, really by calling I am an apostle. Uh, what he prophesied really is true just because he doesn't know me and I, I, I don't know him. He's from Namibia, I'm from Free State. So what he said, the prophecy that he prophesied over me, really is true. I was so amazed, I was so amazed, but it uh, uplifted my faith. Since you cannot, even although you, you are called, but if there is no one whom God can use to confirm your calling, it's so difficult to speak on, on your behalf. But since God has used somebody whom I do not even know, and then to find that again, it was not uh, Apostle Makananisa, but since Apostle Makananisa allowed him to prophesy over me, it uplifted my faith and to be sure about my calling that really God is, is calling me in this uh, field of uh, apostolic. <laughs> this is uh, this is so, it's so shocking, it's so shocking, really, it's so shocking. And then this makes me to 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 believe that really, 
uh, God can do whatever he wants. Just because really, uh, the visitor, when he came here really, was not prophesying. He started to prophesy in my presence after the, the, the man of God, Apostle Makananisa, uh, uh, prayed for him. Then immediately a miracle happened, then he started to have spiritual eyes. That is then he prophesied over me. To people over there, all over the world, world, world I encourage all of you. I'm saying God is still God even today and so powerful according, according to the book of Luke chapter 1 where the word of God says that for nothing is impossible uh, with God. So God can do whatsoever I want to do even although you are in difficulties but if we stand firm and have faith in God, God can come and there is no boundary before him. Once God has promised you something, he will do it as he has done unto me. All of you come. All of you come. I'm sure my son Italy will be carrying because of this. If you go here, you are also visit us. Uh, I'll pray for this man now. God has opened his eyes. He was telling him what I told him. Not long here. Leave everything. Now we live to the husband, the wife, get promoted three times. Was going to use him the ministry. This one is told by the angel. He's talking about it this morning. Uh, after the, can we choose uh, this from them? Which one? Give me that one. You can choose if you want to. I saw an operation team. My God, let's stop there. Let's stop there. You saw this woman on operations, eh? Oh Jesus, uh, Mama, can you hear that? Yeah? This man said you saw your operation table. Did you do your operation? Are you sick? Yeah? You're not sick. What is happening in your stomach? Nothing. So you say, Michael, she did. Are you married? Yeah? Because there's a problem in your lower abdomen, close to your phone. This is why the Lord said, shows me operation table where you are lying on. The time you will get married, it will Child affect issue. you. It will affect your food. The Lord said, I must stretch my hand out to you and release your word of healing. Mighty name of Jesus. You can see God, God has already anointed this man. Uh, he's, he's even praying uh, for people that <laughs> my God uh, Receive your breakthrough now. It's a breakthrough that is I release good. also the finances that are blocked right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it now. He's doing like me now. He's really doing like this. <laughs> And we hear the devil saying, you see what he's doing here? You can see it there. Hi everybody, I'm Jananda. I just came here today um, to meet the man of God and he was serving a other prophet which he dealt with and he was receiving a lot from the apostle and the Lord opened his eyes today and he started to prophesy to me about um, an operation I I will go through but uh, the man of God told me that there's no need to worry because he will pray for me that it won't happen to me yeah he, he spoke about the marriage but um, we cancel everything that could cause problems in the marriage I was so sucked I think wow is that what God can do but I believe in the things that God can do. Just believe. Never, never, never lose the God's sight. Just believe in what God can do. Amen. They are waiting, working on him. The waiting is for the chance for you. If you come and stand close to him, come. Yeah. You feel the waiting here uh, also. Yes. You feel it here. Yeah. You feel it? Eh? Eh? You feel it? Come closer to me, it will hit you. 
It's ready. Come, come, come. Come, the more you come closer to me, come. come. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. It's like this. It's like how you uh, come this side. Oh. Oh. Uh, yes. Uh, and we see from here. Yes. Yeah, yes. So, yeah, she's feeling it now. Yeah. There's anointing this side. Even my brother in the back, you can see. Ah, my God. Uh, so, everywhere there's anointing. Look here, take the camera this side. Look at this woman. Look at the woman there. Uh, this is a prophetic. <laughs> Anointing. Anointing. Okay. And my brother is down there. Down there. Yes. 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 of operation is cancer to never happen and the issue of breakthrough that is coming it must happen uh, thank god we really thank god uh, take the camera to behind please stand behind also the camera lady you see the direction where i'm doing it also stand behind Someone is touching my head, and also someone is touching you as you are watching you in the name of Jesus. If you are sick, be healed. You who are watching Jesus. Uh, uh, uh. Please, can you come and hold the camera woman? Let's not go back. Hold her, hold her. Jesus. I feel the community meeting everywhere. In Jesus, you are anointed. If you are what you are sick. I command that sickness. Can you see the man behind there? My name is Prophet Roger Kutsia. I am from Namibia. I stay in Katima Mulilo. Uh, the reason why I came to Cheras Missionary Church is uh, I had so many attacks since last year. And uh, I wanted to come to Cheras last year, but I could not. And this year, the Lord told me I need to come to see the man of God, Apostle J.B. Makananisa. 
I came because of the many challenges I was facing, uh, especially in this year I had so many attacks and I felt compelled that I need to come for the Lord to deliver me here in this place. I want to confirm that uh, the prophecy that the Apostle gave me was that I need to first of all forgive everyone uh, that has actually injured me. Uh, he said I need to forgive my wife and he also told me the people around me I need to forgive them uh, so that the Lord can begin to use me. When Apostle prayed for me, he told me that he's opening the prophetic ministry that is upon my life and I could actually feel the power of God that entered my eyes and I could begin to see great things that God is about to do, especially in where I'm coming from in Namibia, in Katima Mulilo. I began to see also an influx of people that will come and God will begin to restore. So yes, I want to confirm that the prophecy that the Apostle gave me, it is from God and I believe that God has sent him to deliver me. The power of God was so much and the Lord began to open my eyes according to the prophecy of Apostle that he gave me that the Lord told him he needs to pray for my vision. And after he prayed for me, my eyes just opened and I begin to see what is happening in the lives of people. And the Lord began to show me different prophecies of the lives of people. So genuinely, Apostle is a man of God. He is sent to deliver me and I thank God for what he has done for me today. There is still so much anointing upon me. My, my body feels, it shakes a lot because of the power of God that is in me. I am so grateful because I don't deserve the grace, but God has seen the need to raise me and to use me for other people. I believe that uh, when people started confirming, it is a sign for me that many people shall come and God will use me to help them for the glory of God. I am really so blessed because the time I saw Apostle last year on, on Facebook when I started to look at his uh, messages, listen to him, I actually saw a father. I saw somebody that there's a heart to see that others are growing, others are raised and God is able to use them. So when I saw Apostle, I felt so comfortable in my spirit to be with him because I see a father figure in the Lord and I'm so grateful for God for giving us this gift that is Apostle J.B. Makananisa and it is my prayer God must increase him and God must use him more to raise other people so that they can preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I think to tell uh, upcoming prophets a spiritual father is very important in your life. Uh, I saw a father in Apostle J.B. Makananisa and I believe that my destiny lies with him. God wanted to use him to unlock it. I look at Elijah, Elisha needed Elijah and his destiny was opened. I saw and I look at Joshua that his destiny was opened by Moses. I look, begin to look at other men of God like Timothy. He needed Paul to open his destiny. So I, my word of encouragement to other prophets that are coming up, sit under a man of God that can raise you, that can build your character, that can tell you how to live so that God is able to speak into your life and be able to raise you up for the gospel of Jesus Christ.